The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. Welcome in, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 2024 Spring Edition of The Local Show. I'm your host, Tom Sakosho Jr., along with my friend and co-host, Steve Roberts. The Local Show features conversations about local businesses. We talk to the business owners, CEOs, CFOs, entrepreneurs, nonprofits, business advocates, and other business-friendly organizations. We learn how they got into business and why they do business right here in Syracuse, New York, and where their businesses might be going in the future. You're going to hear all about about their successes, their challenges, opportunities, marketing, and advertising. We're broadcasting from the Zoe Advertising Studios, sponsored by Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts, and uh, you can see us on YouTube as well. Although, you know, prepare yourself. Steve is one heck of a good looker. It's, you know, <laughs> it's true. It's true, Tom. I saw you at a wedding reception, and uh, you actually dressed up. You wore a shirt. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I was amazed. So it's true. I wore my one sports coat. <laughs> and and, uh, and a collared shirt. Yeah. And then I, so by by the way, that guy wants it back. uh, The (laughs) the one you took it off of. (laughs) Well, so uh, I didn't want to go collared shirt. You know, I was going with the old black t-shirt. Oh, I said, no, no, no. So I said, yes, dear. And then um, I had black pants on, but they weren't dressy enough. She put on your dress pants. So I, 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 it was, uh, yeah. so people that uh, maybe don't don't know uh, Lori, who uh, kind of runs this place, her daughter, her oldest daughter got married and Tom did a spectacular job uh, being the voice of, uh, Voice of what? Well, you were the know. DJ, I, I guess it would call you, and yes. down at Hotel Syracuse, and it was it was a yeah. beautiful wedding and a beautiful time. It was nice to see the um, Persian Terrace again. Yeah, spent a lot of years in the live band yeah. there. Yeah. Expected Van Stereo to roll yeah. out with the Church <laughs> Jubilee at any second. Oh, you know, God bless him, boy, he did run that place. Right, unbelievable. Well, look, uh, we've got a great show all packed up for you, folks. So I'd stick around and uh, listen to all these segments. First up, we're going to talk with uh, Dave Sharon. He's the president of Universal Windows. Uh, direct of Syracuse. And then Charlie Van Patten stops by, owner of Mattress Makers. We're going to talk to Gabrielle Eccles Shahadi, who is the vice president of Shahadi Rugs and Cleaning. Chad Tolhurst is the owner of K9 Camp Day Dog Daycare. And then uh, Kevin Frank, the director of the Brady Market and Brady Faith Center. Joe Scrippa stops by, owner of the Scrippa Group Real Estate and Property Management. Sean Pan- Patney is the owner of Preferred Power Sports. We're going to talk about him and why he uh, He thinks my wife won't let me have a uh, slow shot. (laughs) And then uh, Trey Wynn will stop by, a technical sergeant. uh, We call them tech sergeants, by the way. Uh, He's an advanced recruiter at the Air National Guard, uh, 174th Attack Wing, for those of you keeping up with things. So that's all on the show today. Right now we say a hearty, healthy good morning to uh, Dave Sharon, president of Universal Windows Direct of Syracuse. How are you, Dave? Good, good. Good morning. Thanks for having me here. Well, thank you for being here. And you know what? Uh, We know each other. You went to different so, schools together? Yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> I, I don't like to say that because he says it all the time. Just to but, bother him. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Dave's been around. Uh, Dave, tell us your, your background here in Syracuse. You, you're a Syracuse native, right? Yep, yep, from okay. Liverpool. I uh, graduated Liverpool in 1987. Yeah, uh, I was in the I was in the construction industry um, in the, right after high school uh, mm-hmm. for several years. Um, I got into the landscaping business, right. and I did that for over twenty years. And that went really well. Yes. What would, can you yes. say the name of your company, or do you uh, have a? It was called CNY Landscapes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did that for many years, and uh, decided it. We ended up moving out of state. Um, came right. came back. And I uh, wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, did not want to do the snow plowing anymore. Yeah, you know, that was a <laughs> smart man. <laughs> <laughs> and I got into the window the window business in uh, 2016. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, like, I guess the rest is history from the, there. It seems here. really competitive. Why the window business? It, it, you know, it seems like it's a crowded marketplace. Um, from a business standpoint. Yeah, you know? the, the uh, one thing I would say about if you compare like the window business to like just being like a general remodeler, mm-hmm. right? Uh, if you if you kind of focus in on one one product, one one business, one product line, it's a much more simple business yeah, to operate, right? Yeah, it's not like a bathroom, a kitchen, a garage. This is one product, one thing, 
one fix with some options, but you probably become better at it because you're specialized. Is that fair? Yes. Focused, yeah. yeah. Focused, okay. But, you know, there's a limited number of product choices. Um, your installers can can really be specialists at what, the, what they do. Mm -hmm. So that's what really brought me to the you, window. You know, their, their uh, building, Tom, if you uh, if you get sleepy on Route 57 and don't negotiate the corner, what's that big plaza there? Uh, it was Seneca Mall for Se years. Seneca Mall. Yeah. Hey, right yeah. on the corner of the old. That wasn't a lawnmower place, wasn't it? Yeah, it was CNY Power for 20 years. So right, it's like okay. on the road as you can be. Like he, so if you stick your hand out the window, your car will hit it. It's right on the road across oh, yeah. from uh, Kitty Corner to um, Home Team Pubs across the street. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the one that's I couldn't remember. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. was like 50 different bars, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, at, yes. At one yeah, they're doing really well now, though. So he's right up from, uh, is that the, uh, the Baptist church there? Um, uh, Northside. Is that Northside, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, there, there is a church on the road, same road yeah. as yeah, me. Yeah. I, I yeah. can't tell you the yeah. name yeah. of the yeah. church. I think that's yeah. what that was. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Yeah. So isn't it the, so do you just do windows or do you do other stuff? <clears throat> is, is it pretty specific to windows? <clears throat> we do we do windows and doors. That's, okay. That's really what we sell. Um, we we will do siding if it mm. comes with a full window, sure. you know, full window replacement. But windows and doors are really what we focus on. Okay, so uh, Tom had mentioned a lot of people doing windows, a lot of things. Why would someone want to get a quote from you on their windows? Uh, you know, if you look at our Google reviews, we've got 100 uh, reviews. We have a 4.9 rating, uh, you know, really. That's know, pretty good for a contractor. Holy yeah, smokes. Right, uh, right. No offense to contractors listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, usually when you see that on, a, on any type of business, it means that they really care about their customer. Uh, they take care mm -hmm. of, uh, take you know, a business really shows their true colors if something goes wrong. Right, right. And that's when, you know, when you can shine and, and take care of a problem. Uh, so we, that's our highest priority is our customer satisfaction. Uh, we have high quality products along with that. Um, but we stand behind everything we do. Is, do people mostly deal with you and one other person or a couple other people? In other words, you're, you're always on the front lines. So, uh, so my daughter, Mackenzie, she actually okay. works in the office. Uh, she does the administration work. Uh, oh, wow. She answers the phone during the day, sets the appointments, uh, does the paperwork. I do have a full-time salesperson. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, we have installers. Um, I basically do the, uh, I'd say the project management end of it, uh, okay. go out, measure the windows, uh, take care of any small service calls if, if there are, but you know, anything bigger the, the installers take care of. So it really yeah. is kind of a family business. Your daughter's here. So is she the reason you have such great reviews? Are you going to blame her for that? Because <laughs> it, it makes, who who you talk to on the phone makes the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's, it's a big deal. Yes. So so, uh, yes. so she handles it. And what's the process if someone wanted to get a quote, like to get something done? How is it? What's the process? So, you know, easiest ways to call the office and, and we can book the appointment for you. Um, we also have an online scheduling system on the website. Um, okay. There's a button on there to schedule your own appointment. Mm -hmm. uh, so that we, our calendar is actually right on the website. You can book your own appointment without talking to somebody if, if you don't want to. So Universal Windows Direct? It, it's UniversalWindowsSyracuse.com. Okay, UniversalWindowsSyracuse.com. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And the uh, phone number, uh, what's the best phone number? Best of phone number is 315-288-6855. Okay, so people can get a quote or just ask questions. Yeah. Like, how long would it take? What's the process? Yeah. Are they, you that far out uh, at this time of year and, um, and for installations? We're, we're doing a lot better than we were a few years ago, you know, during <laughs> yeah, the right. pandemic. Uh, I think we were out to like 12 weeks at Ooh, one point. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're, we're down to probably a six to eight week uh, lead time from from estimate to when we actually install the windows. Okay. 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 So that's the big area code. I'll rock yeah. that number. The big area code, yeah, <laughs> 315. Right. Oh, yeah. 288-6855. 288-6855. Say, hey, uh, Dave, what's it going to cost, or how do we do it? Or they can so go to UniversalWindowsSyracuse.com, right? Yes. Excellent. All right. All right. Well, there's Dave Sharon right there, longtime resident of the area and an entrepreneur, president of Universal Windows Direct of Syracuse. Thank you so much, Dave, and best of luck to you. Thank you. Okay. Coming up next, Charlie Van Patten, the owner of Mattress Makers, on The Local Show on 570 WSYR. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, 
Tom and Steve. We're back, folks, and that means you are, too. Thank you for joining Tom and Steve on The Local Show. I like to refer to us as a unit, uh, you know, Tom and Steve, uh, you know, the third-party thing. <laughs> a unit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, we are. Ready to rock and roll. And, uh, you know, it's been hard to mow the lawn in between the raindrops. Last year, it was drier than dry. It was like, you know, a, a well-worn, dried-out sock that's been dried too many With times. With all those dogs, it's like a bunch of landmines out there, too. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, it is. Okay. <laughs> There's no doubt. But we keep them in the yard. You know, that, that's the, the point is that uh, the dogs stay in the yard. So they do happen to, um, you know, function there. Right. Uh, but, it, you know, but that dog fence thing, I can't say enough about that. I, well, you know, we had it when we had the house. We loved it. Yeah. it uh, well, uh, you know, they, they say it's, um, you know, a, a correction collar and all that, uh, but it works very well. In fact, they're trained so well that even if I forget to put the collar on, they won't go outside of the uh, perimeter uh, of the so front. So they or train, back. or are they afraid? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, they, <laughs> they're smart, you know. I mean, how many times do you have to? You're unlike, talking about Mikey? You know, un, unlike you, yes. <laughs> Even though he's a, a beagle, unlike you, they don't have to put their hand in the fire fifty times <laughs> to know that it's hot. So when they get that correction after you've uh, corrected them with that special rechargeable collar uh, several times, they won't go beyond the perimeter uh, of where they yeah. are. So now we can let them out front, which I like to sit out front. You know, just to engage in life. <laughs> yeah, we had it front and back, and in the correction, it's like a. If you ever had a tens device, yeah, you, had yeah. a, uh, you know, it's like a. Okay, what is that? Like a battery on your tongue, yeah, or something like, oh, like that. Okay, too. you yeah. know, yeah. Um, but it, but it's a reminder, and um, yeah, uh, we we loved it. Uh, you know, when we had the house, it was uh, absolutely. Stan and Donna did it, uh, and they just did a great job. Yeah, and the installation was really, you know, painless. Right. Uh, they they come by. They you know, in fact, I remember the person getting there and they started to put the um you know this buried cable around yeah. the house and before i could even finish a cup of coffee he was done yeah and i said yeah. oh you're, you're finished yeah. already that was probably jamie that was probably yeah done. it was yeah 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 so you know and then they put the little flags in there so that the dogs get a visual of where not to go but i can't tell you enough i, I mean we we have a very springy three-year-old dog and then mikey who's 110 yep and uh <clears throat> very slow and everything but now now they can stay in the front lawn, uh, and even people walking dogs, oh, you know, they'll bark a little bit, and you have to, hey, be quiet, be quiet, but they they won't break the fence. They won't yeah. go beyond it. Well, if you uh, want to get a quote, want to figure out how it works, um, call Stan, uh, 415-5555. How's that for an easy number? Yeah. So the big area code, 315-415, and a whole bunch of fives, and they'll, um, they'll yeah. give you a quote, they'll check out how it works. Right, and, get a and quote. I, I absolutely loved it. You know. Yeah, yeah. Tell them uh, Tom and Steve sent you, please. And, uh, you know, do it today. Charlie Van Patten is there uh, uh, right in front of me, uh, owner of Mattress Makers. You can see us on YouTube, too. Uh, you know, Brad does a wonderful job producing the show. A lot of times he'll superimpose a really good actor face on me, uh, but, uh, <laughs> not Steve. <laughs> How you doing, Charlie? Very good. Yourself? Good, good. What's happening in Mattress World? Huh? Well, do you know, between Albany and Buffalo, there's only one organic mattress showroom? Uh, no. Really? How far? do I have to drive for that, Charlie? Uh, five minutes, right to Bridge Street in East Syracuse. <laughs> Did you know that there's a throughway between those two cities? Yeah, yeah that's I right. Get on the throughway, get here. You know, we've got, uh, we've got like six inner spring models you can look at. We've got seven latex, two-sided. That's a big thing, too. And we also make a zippered cover. You know, you, you want to change it every day, unzip it and flip it over, change it around. You can do that. And uh, really, the place to go, because... Uh, Ironically, there's a store in Syracuse that's advertising they have organic mattresses. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? They've got two, number one. They're one-sided also. Ah. As usual, I like to do my research, go on the Internet, went to the Better Business Bureau site, looked up the company, pops right up, two out of five stars. Mm. I mean, you know, business is typically between four and five stores. You'll see sure. stars, right. but mm -hmm. this has got two stars. And... Uh, you know, I, I, I even went further because they got like 180 complaints. So I uh, actually, I uh, looked at one of the complaints and I got it here and got to get my glasses out and take, yeah, I'm yeah. going to give you a quick an idea of what they're dealing with if you buy from this company. Uh, this customer purchased a King Organic mattress for over $4,000 a year later. We have two two-inch plus depressions in each side of the bed, Whoa. causing sciatic issues in the back. When we submitted all requirement information for an exchange, they continually deflected 
as they were not honoring the warranty. All of our information regarding size, slats, space met the guidelines of the warranty. They continued to make additional reasons not to stipulate why they would not take the mattress back. They claim there's absolutely no manager available to speak to. They constantly put you put your complaint and concerns on hold, saying, they'll get back to you. And the only way you can communicate is through the email. Now, there's a second complaint. Okay. But I don't have to read that one because it's my complaint. No. <laughs> you know, I like show and tell. I've got <laughs> another article here I'm going to talk about where... I put the mattresses in the showroom and I open them up, let people see what's going on. So in, last inside the mattress, inside yeah, the yeah, mattress, and what right you're on. getting. Gotcha. So last September, <coughs> I said, you know, <coughs> I'm going to order. They're, they're on the internet and they're getting a lot of business <coughs> that I should be getting. I'm going to order a mattress, bring it in, put it next to mine. <coughs> so last September, I ordered it. Money went out of my checking account the same right. day. Right. Yeah, right. All September came and went. Nothing. Tried to communicate with the company. You can't talk to them. You can email them. You don't get responses. October comes. Same thing. Come and gone. Now we're into November. I have no mattress. They have my money. Oh, so wow. I finally got my money back off the Internet, and I never heard a word, and they didn't care. And you don't know why they didn't send it to you. I have no idea. Just, you know, well, look at this other complaint where they got a warranty problem, and they won't take right. care yeah. of the customer. I, I was they won't communicate. And um, the next thing I've got is... There's a mattress that we started getting a bunch of these back, mm -hmm. three to five years. Yes. And this mattress is number one on the majority of the internet sites where you look up best mattress. When you got back. You didn't sell them. This people, is, you didn't. They're not your mattress. No, they're old ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. People bought new ones and we replaced them yeah. and we take them to landfill and pay fifteen dollars a piece yeah. so they can <laughs> burn them on the yeah. Rock Out Road. We, uh, we set the mattress down, and the cover, the reason I brought this example up, because the cover, it says organic, organic, organic. It's woven right into the cover, organic. Right. We open it up. Guess what? what? It's full of urethane foam. Oh, my goodness. And I'm imagining that's not organic. I don't think so. And then uh, <laughs> you take a look at the cover. I know covers. I know what's being sold. Right. I cut the cover apart. I analyze it. It's 80% polyester and only 20% organic. So here's a mattress. The customer's seeing it. It says organic. And guess what? 20% of the cover's organic cotton. The rest of the freaking thing is all chemicals. Right. So, so I was online this week, Tom, and somebody, one of my friends said, we're looking to get a mattress. Where should we go? Answer, you know, and there's all these different things. And, of course, I had to speak up for Charlie. I go, well, if you want to go where they're made, um, go over to Mattress Makers. You speak Office. of where they're made. I'll yeah. tell you something. Last week, a customer came in. They had bought a mattress somewhere else that they couldn't use. They were going to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, a brand new, a year or two old. They bought two organic mattresses. And when they got through and the gentleman was ready to leave, he turned around and he says, you know what? I spent less money on those two organic mattresses than I did for that one down the street. <laughs> right. So, oh, wait, uh, Charlie's a little wound up here this morning, Tom. Uh, and why not? Yes, He's right. comparing right. things. So mattress makers on Bridge Street behind Henry Wilson Jewelers. The factory's there. There's a there's a location up in Cicero across from Chick-fil-A. But if you want to see where they're made, go around Bridge Street. Talk to Charlie. Um, he'll sell it to you for a whole lot less. Used to make it for a bunch of other people. Now he makes it direct. Uh, Excellent. Mattress makers. Charlie, have a great rest of the day, and thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Gabriel. Ariel Eccles Shahadi coming up next, Vice President of Shahadi Rugs and Cleaning, right here on the local show on 570 WSYR. Stick around. The local show featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. It's go time again with the local show, Tom and Steve, a product of Zoe Advertising, right here on your radio or your particular device that you're using. Boy, I had some uh, device issues this uh, past week. Woo! 
What happened? Uh, Kelly wanted to change service providers, uh, internet <laughs> service providers. <laughs> to save $5? Or yeah, was it well, those, it was gonna, did it not work right? It was going to save, uh, you know, $180 a, a month. You no know. way. Oh, yeah. Significant. Uh, 180 we gonna, a month? Yeah. We were going to cut the cord completely, you know, and just go to the streaming services, which is just fine and dandy. But, you know, given the business that uh, we're in, um, you know, I need reliable internet and I need big uh, Holy bandwidth and um, I've had nothing but uh, trouble. So <laughs> it's been uh, very interesting uh, on the devices. How did it hasn't. I'm still in the fold, <laughs> as well, they say. So we'll, we'll figure it all out. But, uh, you know, yeah, it's uh, be if, careful. If you, you had to take heat, air conditioning or no internet, which one would you opt to not have? Um, internet. You got to have it, right? Yeah, yeah, you got to have the internet. Yeah. I don't care about the heat. Kelly does, but I well, don't. <laughs> I actually opened a window and she had a blanket on. I'm like, <laughs> come on, honey. It's, we're getting there. Anyway, uh, Safe Harbor Wills and Trust has been a, a big advocate of the show and they've supported us. So let's support them by saying nice things. Well, um, we're not making these up every day. Go online, look at their reviews. Uh, people like them because they do a good job. Yeah. And they uh, help people protect their home and life savings. They do have a work shop coming up here in a couple weeks on uh, Tuesday the 14th right here in Syracuse uh, there's one from 10 to 2 uh, excuse me 10 to noon and 4 to 6 uh, listen to John Murphy and the team talk for two hours and get all your questions answered about things you think you know right and things you don't know um, but if you don't make a plan you haven't protected your stuff you just haven't with right. long-term care so you can register for that or call them and ask a question at 370-9977 uh, safeharborwillsandtrust.com it's on you can go to the website if you want but if you haven't gone to the workshop by golly go to the workshop uh, 370-9977 safeharborwillsandtrust.com tom great it's our pleasure to bring a new person on to the show it's gabrielle eccles shahadi she's the vice president of shahadi rugs and cleaning uh right here in Syracuse. How you doing there? I'm well. How are you guys? Very good. Very good. Are you a homegrown gal? Did you uh, grow up here? I am. I'm from upstate New York. Yeah. Um, Skinny Alice to be exact. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So well, that's good. Gorgeous area, you know. Guess. Right. Never found myself out further. <laughs> <laughs> right. Did, did you uh, go to high school out there? You went to yeah. Skinny Alice High School? Yep. Went to high school there. Very nice. Did you go to college at all? Or? Yeah, I went to Bucknell University in Pennsylvania. Okay. Great, great. Yeah. And what did you study there? Uh, mechanical engineering. Very good. Well, that, <laughs> yeah. ma that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, not really what you'd expect now running a, a rug store. but. Uh, and, and how long has the uh, rug store been around? We have been around since 1900, so 124 years now. Wow. Yeah. I was going to make Tom do the math. He couldn't. <laughs> we, should have, we should have said, Tom, how yeah. long is that? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm the yeah. fourth generation. Golly. Yeah. Did, and did you grow up, like, rolling around on the rugs in oh, the yeah. showroom? And oh, yeah. Like that? You just hop from pedestal yeah. to pedestal, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Did, you ever, did they ever drag you to India or somewhere when you were five years old? Or? No, I wish. <laughs> okay, none of that? <laughs> no, we have um, importers over here. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the the last name, Shahadi, is there a particular ethnicity to that? or Lebanese. Ever? So, so okay. yeah, my great-grandfather came over from Beirut in 1880. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. And... and is there a certain, I, I guess, is the rug business uh, a part of that culture? Is, is that I think it? Coming over from there, you just have a lot of contacts mm -hmm. in ways of, I guess, procuring goods. Yeah. Um, and so when you come over here and you don't have a livelihood, you don't know anybody else. Right, right. Uh, you kind of, obviously, you go to what you know. Sure. Um, and so he finally, in like 1900, I think, got commissioned by someone to pretty much outfit his house in rugs and okay. then it just it grew was a big there. job yeah. and took off from there Isn't and then he was able fun. to yeah create how long the have business. you so you're in Irbal or between what meal to the um, we're between teal ave and oh gosh i don't even the next one beach uh, street okay. it's, yeah it's yeah, more yeah. towards the downtown have you always been area. there or is, is the we we used to be on south warren street and then moved to our current location in the 60s so okay way before my time yeah but. of course <laughs> okay so so what makes it it's special do you have flying carpets there or? Uh, no but we no. get that joke a lot <laughs> <laughs> way more than you would think from, from old white guys <laughs> <laughs> so. um i think what's special about our business is so we do both at, like 
parts of the business, I guess. Mm -hmm. We sell new rugs. Yeah. Um, and then we also clean and repair the rugs that you currently own. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and it doesn't have to be something that you purchased from us. Do you do that on location or do they bring the rug in or how's that? What's the process? No, on that? Everything has to come to our facilities and everything's done on site. So a lot of cleaning companies will send the rugs out somewhere or it's just a trunk mounted system that comes in. Mm -hmm. Ours is more geared for deep cleaning and specializes in oriental rugs. So I don't know if you've ever seen those like TikTok videos or YouTube videos of rug washing. Mm -hmm. It's like they're, they're very like satisfying videos if you they, watch them just getting you know, cleaned. I watch chiropractors do the rubbing right? and the yeah. cracking, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the same it kind of thing. It convinces you, yeah. like, I should probably go to yeah, chiropractor right. now. <laughs> Tom watches pimple poppers. Uh, I don't know. So no, it's just yeah, a different It's an oddly satisfying <laughs> <laughs> So they do that with rugs, too. Okay, uh, yeah, got so it. So <laughs> pretty much everything's hand-washed on the ground, um, and we are... Like our first stage is pretty much we flip the rug over and we have a vibrating machine to beat out all the dust and dirt in it, right. which is something you're not going to get your at home service, like oh, a truck mounted system. Yeah. They're not flipping your rugs over. There's dust yeah. everywhere. So it's a much more thorough process. Um, we don't do like wall to wall carpet cleaning or anything like that. So do that's you, when the truck mounted systems rugs? are good. Um, occasionally it's just the market for used rugs is really tough now. Right, right. Uh, it's kind of like your China, your silver, yeah. all that has just kind of died off. Well, right. I don't want to but run out cycles. of time. But let me ask you this. I go into these big box stores. I see all these, you mm. know, rugs. And they're kind of expensive, but they're so thin. And I'm thinking, mm. I don't want to spend all that money on that. What makes your rugs different? I mean, what what kind of a quality difference is uh, at Shahadi ver versus some of these big box stores? Yeah. So honestly, we have all qualities. Like, if you wanted something of that big box store quality, you can get that from us as well. Okay, and I gotcha. think that's a little bit of a misconception from people. Because we are such an old business, Yes. And we were around before machine made rugs even came out. Mm -hmm. The name goes pretty much with your high end oriental rug. Right. But what people don't understand is that half our business is we have those nice oriental one of a kind right. rugs. And then the other half is machine made rugs. Now we don't carry maybe something like if you're just looking to go get something quick and throw it out in a one or two <laughs> right, years, right. you can go to Marshall's or Target or Amazon or Wayfair yeah, yeah. or something. But What's good about our showroom is we have about 3,000 rugs hanging there, and we oh. stock all your major rug companies. So Laloy, people that see stuff online like yeah, that, yeah. we stock all of those companies. So if you want to feel it, touch, touch it, it yeah, see it right. beforehand, and you've got price points that if you want an 8x10 rug, we've got them for $200. I would say most of them are going to be between... 500 to 1,000, right. and then you have your oriental rugs that can go away. Is it, is it cash and carry, or, or do you deliver as well if we, somebody doesn't have a truck? We can offer delivery, yep. Okay. Um, there's just like a travel fee involved for the okay. crew, but... Wow. wow. So Shahadi, S-H-E-H-A-D-I, rugs. Yes. Dot com. Yes. Um, over there on uh, um, Erie Boulevard. I want to call West Genesee Street. <laughs> Erie Boulevard. Yep. Between Teal and something. Yep. <laughs> um, yep. um, you're open uh, every day week. Uh, when are you open? We're open Monday through Friday. I wouldn't close on the weekends right now. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. And if they have COVID questions, COVID was tough. Okay. Yeah, and if they have yeah. questions, 472-6397. Mm -hmm. 472-6397. Shahadi Rugs. Yes. Excellent. Thank you for being here. No problem. Okay. Coming up next, Chad Tolhurst is going to tell us all about his uh, Camp Dog Daycare. It's K9 Camp Dog Daycare right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. You found The Local Show. It's your place for all sorts of happy talk about uh, people who have businesses around town, and we, we talk to all of them. And uh, we've had over 300 people uh, in the studio, so we hope you get to know some of your local people and do business locally. That's what we're all about here at Zoe Advertising. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, so, uh, Steve, did you have something to say about Sean's business? Oh my gosh! Well, the spring is here, and uh, you earlier you said the the spring edition. I, can we make it early summer? Sure. Is, is it sure? Early? No, no. So, um, if you need a roof quote, talk to Sean over at uh, Top Notch. Yeah, um, he's got it going. They're they're uh, um, heck of a guy. Um, very deliberate. Um, he may not be the cheapest. He's probably not the most expensive, but boy, he does a good job and is a good guy. You need a, a quote on your roof? Give him a shout. 
four, uh, um, no, not four, two, four, seven, zero, six, 28. I'll do that one more time. So I don't choke two, four, seven, zero, six, 28. Uh, Sean at Top Notch. Great. All right. Well, it's our pleasure to bring back on the show Chad Tolhurst. He's the owner of Canine Camp Dog Daycare. How are you there, Chad? I'm good. How are you? Very good, to be good back. my friend. Yeah. Are you a Syracuse native, buddy? Did I you am. grow up here? Yes, yeah. I did. What high school did you go to? I went to ESM. Okay. ESM guy. Yep. Or SM. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, so, did, did you go to college for anything? Or? Uh, I did. I actually went to college for pharmacy. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Is it an wow. obvious job? <laughs> yeah, right? and, and did you complete that program and actually uh, work as a pharmacist? Uh, yes, I got working and I worked at uh, Wegmans. Started working at Wegmans. Very uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. Wegmans were you at? Uh, Dwight. No kidding. Yeah. That little was, place? Yeah, that little place, yep. <laughs> and what, what happened? Yeah. What, what made well, you change was, your mind? I was working with dogs all throughout college. Yeah. You know, I was uh, working with a well-known trainer around here uh, doing, you know, shoots and training. And uh, I was actually uh, part of on dog on Dog County Search and Rescue. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, pet okay. therapy. I was doing all that stuff, you know, and I just... I was, just wasn't digging, you know, the right, pharmacy, you know, right. counting those pills and stuff. And my, my mother was like, <laughs> yeah. you know, my mother was like, well, why don't you do something with dogs? Mm-hmm. It's like, you know what? So, let's so let's what, do it. Wait, let's you go got for that, it. You got that from your mom? Yeah. Because usually they're <laughs> like, you went to school, get the oh, job, right, pay off the loans. Right. Yeah, she was disappointed. So she, she was disappointed. But, but she wanted <laughs> she you. She knew I wasn't happy. But she wanted you to follow your passion, which is awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Very yeah, so, nice. Yeah. So I was the first dog daycare here in Central New York. Oh, were you? Okay. Almost 22 years ago. And where's it located? Uh, in uh, East Syracuse on Bridge Street, Old Bridge Street in yeah. East Syracuse. The, okay. What was your vision for it? What, what what did you think when you first thought of canine dog daycare? <laughs> you know what? I really I, I really didn't know. It was, it was something new. <laughs> You're not that I was deep. like, hey, I want to play with dogs. You know, I was training <laughs> dogs in the meantime, too. Yeah. It took a while, you know, being the first one around. Nobody knew what it was. Right. So um, I was tossing the ball around for like five, six dogs for did 12 you, hours a day <laughs> for a while. <laughs> <laughs> did you think, do you? yourself, but there's a lot of people who are pet owners, and yep. uh, they don't know what to do with their pets during the day. Yep. Yeah, that was your thought. That was, yeah, that okay. was the thought. You know, get them sure. out. You know, they need exercise, too. You know, uh-huh. um, you know, they're sitting at home doing, you know, not doing much. I knew how my dogs were, you know. they. I mean, they were always rip-roaring, ready to go, you know. Right, so, right, right. You know. So what, uh, what else do you do other than just sit them or, you know, let them play? Uh, do you offer any other services related yep. to the so dogs? So we, we board dogs. You know, I have a groomer there as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have self-serve dog washes. Okay. Um, you know, we do all different, you know, different types of activities with the dogs throughout the day, you know, especially in the summer, you know, they love pools and water and, you know, yeah, hoses, of course. You know, yeah. all that kind of so stuff. I, I think uh, dogs are nicer than most people. Change my mind. Uh, I believe that, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's something about the unconditional love of a dog. There is. There and is. Um, yeah. my uh, my youngest son uh, worked at a, uh, at, a, at a dog, at a place like yours um, before he went in the Air Force, he was waiting, he had three or four months, and he would sit all day and play with the dogs. And uh, funny, uh, before that, he worked at this little place called Wegmans for a bunch of years. Oh, yeah. I and, know and, you know, and he was doing his thing. But when he went there, he goes, this is the best job ever. He goes, I hang out with dogs. And and, and before he, he went uh, away, that's what he did, and he loved it. So do you, are there well, some dogs right. that are just unsocial and that you don't reinvite back? There are. There are. So what we do, we, we interview all the dogs before him prior to them being allowed into daycare. How do you interview a dog? So so we'll bring them in. We'll hold the interviews at night um, to bring the the owner and the the dog in so the owner can see the facility as well, you Mm -hmm. know. Um, And then we'll either... um, You know, we'll play with the dog, see how they react with us, or bring in bring in one of our dogs to see how they react with the, our dog mm-hmm. as well to and, see how they interact. And some dogs just don't cut it. Some dogs just don't cut it. Yeah, some dogs are just you know they can be dog aggressive. You know, um, uh, and some dogs you know once we get them into the daycare, you know they're. They're good dogs. They're just not good daycare dogs. What? In what, in what <laughs> so way? They may play too rough. You oh, okay. Know. Um, yeah. You know they're, they're just causing causing too many too many issues within the daycare. Um, you know you get you get your super humpers. You know, <laughs> that, 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 you know you get the reaction dogs. Yeah. Does an int- <laughs> will an introverted dog uh, uh, join the pack? Like Zoe, you met Zoe mm-hmm. when you came in here. Oh, yeah. She we went to the dog park outside over Liverpool a bunch of years ago. She, we got there. She jumped up on my lap. She said, I'm going to stay here. I, <laughs> 
I just would rather not deal with it. Some well, dogs just don't dig being around all the other dogs. That was yeah. her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And when, when that happens too, we'll get them in there and, you know, we'll tell you, you know, it's a great dog, you know, but she just doesn't want to be here. <laughs> you know, it just isn't her thing. Do you only have <laughs> the one location or you have a couple? Uh, so I used to have uh, another location in Baldensville. I sold that before, before COVID hit. Okay. Um, I do have another um, a boarding facility. It's called Canine Campground. Okay. We did like a camping theme, so they have different size cabins oh, and everything neat. too. And <laughs> that's right in East Syracuse as well, but we strictly just do boarding, yeah. boarding there. Yeah. So if someone, the was, care, if, if someone was going on vacation mm-hmm. um, and things like that or away for the weekend, it's, yes. th- it doesn't have to be a week. It can be a couple nights. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It could be a couple nights, just an overnight. You okay. Know, do you get full up? For a month. Do you get uh, full up fast? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah so. we do get filled up pretty fast yeah. for the boarding. Yeah. So people should call in, in advance call if they're thinking advance, about especially a Especially for holidays or spring breaks, winter breaks, right. stuff like that. Oh, when, call in advance. Uh, we have a, we're renting a lab right now because my the son I mentioned, uh, <laughs> he got deployed and we got his dog. Oh. So we have a black lab. <laughs> when he goes to, to play with other dogs of the day, he is exhausted. He comes yeah. home and he's just like, Goosh. done. <laughs> you know, he doesn't get the zoomies. He doesn't tear up the house. Okay. Um, occasionally. But um, there, there's real therapy for that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, get some of their energy out, you know, and dogs need to get that energy out or they might be destructive at home. Like what's, your, what's your plans for the future? What are you going to do? <laughs> um, you know what? I'm I'm pretty happy. Yeah, anything developing? Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, yeah. you know what? I spend a lot of time with my kids. I coach Little League Baseball. Right. You know, as long as I, you know, I've kind of downsized because of my kids. Oh, you know, okay. Spending more yeah, time yeah. with them. Yeah. You're smiling and you're not faking it. I don't know if uh, some no. people, it, so no. it seems like you really enjoy it. I do. I do. But I the uh, K9 uh, camps, so a lot of Ks there. So the K letter 9 camp, uh, dot com is the website. Yes. And if people have questions about, can you take my dog? How do I test my dog? Or whatever. Uh, uh, 437 Yes. So so four three seven seventy one ten. Thanks, yes. Chad. Yeah. All right, Thank Chad. You. you have a great rest of the day. Okay. You too. Thank and you a, very and a much. Good Thanks summer for having season. me on. You got it. <laughs> Kicking off hour number two of the local show, we're going to have a conversation with Kevin Frank. He's the director of the uh, Brady Faith Center, and then Joe Scrippa stops by, owner of the Scrippa Group Real Estate and Property Management. Sean Patney is the owner of Preferred Power Sports, and finally Trey Wynn, tech sergeant and advanced recruiter at the Air National Guard. All on the local show in hour number two which starts really soon. Stick around. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts... Tom and Steve. Welcome back and welcome in. This is our number two of the local show. Get ready for engaging interviews with Kevin Frank, director of the Brady Faith Center, Joe Scrippa, owner of the Scrippa Group and real estate and property management. Sean Patney is the owner of Preferred Power Sports. And finally, we'll wrap things up with Trey Wynn, tech sergeant and advanced recruiter at the Air National Guard. All in our number two of the local show. Thank you for sticking around or if you're just joining us, well, welcome in. Uh, we're going to talk right now with with uh, Kevin Frank. He's the director of uh, Brady Market and Brady Faith Center. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Last time I spoke with you, you were taking some big bike ride. Um, and you, right. you, you were going across bridges that I don't even want to look at from afar. Did you go across the Tappan Zee Bridge on a bike or something? Or <laughs> Yeah, while well, we were in Kingston, we went over that bridge. We oh, went over the bridge golly. in Poughkeepsie. Oh. Did you do the Rip Van Winkle Bridge? Uh, or did you cut across? Oh, no. Nobody does that, Steve. No, I you know the bridge? Do yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, I can't even look at that, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> My eyes start to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even look at pictures. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, awesome. right now, I'm training for a 200-mile ride, one day wow. ride. Yeah, one day, 200 miles. So probably be on the bike about 14 hours. Now, why do you do that? Do you do it just for health or... or well, no, Is it I'm a not, sickness? <laughs> no, I, I understand training and all that, but but I didn't know if you were doing it for the cause or Yeah, this is anything. a fundraiser yeah. for the Brady okay. Faith Center gotcha. Farm and Market. Okay. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's... And, you know, to be honest, with you i love being on a bike it's a it's a great yeah. getaway for me you know you can't text you can't email you can't work when you're on a bike you're you with yourself and god yes <laughs> that's right and, and, and some good friends you yeah know? so it's a it, it's all of that and more when is that we're gonna go june 22nd mm-hmm. and uh, that's gonna be our 200 mile ride on june 1st we have a bike and walk event at the brady farm 
um, yeah. that's part of a fundraiser as well. So those two things are combined. So are those things available at the Brady Or are they at another, where would people see Brady Faith Center.org. B- Brady Faith Center. So if they wanted to support it, give to it, they could. Yeah. Yes, that's right. If they wanted to ride, we've got a 10 mile ride to Onondaga Lake. We got a 25 mile ride, mainly almost around Onondaga Lake and a 50 mile ride out to Skinny Atlas. I would do that in my Ford Explorer. There you go, <laughs> <laughs> Tom. You, you in a scooter, Tom. You're 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 a guy that's now. Well, you're, yeah, you're I mean, built. You're strong gym all the time. Yes, yeah, sir. but on a bike. Uh, like- yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't enjoy a bike ride. Um, I think you got to get used to that. Uh, the seat, especially. I was going to say the, <laughs> the wedgie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My butt swells up. You know, it's, you got to get used to that. Yeah. But but I I you know work out at a high intensity, so I'm always like when I'm looking at my watch, I'm in either fat burning or cardio mode a lot during my uh my workouts because i do multi you know uh, level stuff but uh yeah the, but biking is one of the best things you can do uh walking of course is is awesome yes, uh, yes. when you do this 200 um miles where are you going to go from from where to where you know we're still figuring out that trail i was going to do the empire trail the Erie canal trail oh yeah yeah okay. and uh, i've done that twice from uh, buffalo to new york city Whew. Uh, about 600 what, do you miles. go through the lincoln tunnel or yeah, you know, you, you go through, or? yeah, you, you, um, you go through, I think it's, uh, I think it's Harlem. Um, oh, or that's Brooklyn. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's great. It's a great ride. It's a great ride into Manhattan. Yeah. The last 14 miles you are go through epic. The, you go, you, uh, do you go in or out through the tunnel or no? That's a... No, no. Not at all. So no. either, either way? Yeah. yeah. It's wild. Yeah. 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 So, well, what is the Brady Faith Center? <laughs> I mean, uh, if you, yeah, people might listeners, not know. Tell us about yeah, Brady. Listeners might not know. Yeah, yeah, we're named after Father Brady, and um, Father Brady was amazing. He he really understood that church at its best is with people in the community where they're at, going to them, not expecting them to come to you. Mm-hmm. So we walk the streets every day. Um, well, as often as we can, and and we meet people where they're at, and we, we listen, we learn, we hear about what they're living, what they need, and then together, if we can do it, we do it. So we have 20-plus programs that are community-led. You know, people tell us what they need. A grandmother says, hey, you know, in the summer, keep our kids off the street, keep them safe, and give them God. So we offer seven weeks of youth and teen programming to kids. Um, we have a bicycle program. We ride three times a week, mm-hmm. um, year-round. Uh, after 10 rides, people get to keep the bike helmet and lock. So oh, nice. we've distributed nice. about 600 bicycles to people who've earned them. Oh, wow. By riding awesome. with What's us the age times. bracket for that? What do, what do you find? You know, we just don't want to take kids out of school. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, it's adults. It's, a, it's an adult program. Okay. Um, I just rode this morning. Um, yeah, yeah we go nice. for about an eight-mile ride, and it's, it's, wonderful. it's your, wonderful. Your VO2 max must be right up there. Your, uh, well, I don't measure that stuff, oh, I guess, I, I, but, but I'm in yeah. pretty good shape, so yeah. thank God for that. <laughs> yeah. So um, the Brady Market uh, is where the old No Jams was, right? Yeah. Was that No Jams? Right. No yeah. Jams. No yeah. Jams, no Jams Brothers Jams. Supermarket, um, yeah. And um, you got some pretty cool food there. Tell us about the market. Yeah, so, you know, we, um, we specialize, you know, Paul No Jam, who ran the market before, really specialized in culturally sensitive meats. So, you know, meats that different... Uh, groups of people ate that were specific to their culture and ethnicity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we specialize in things, you know, in the meat area like, um, you know, oxtail, salted pig's feet, you know, uh, a lot of the parts of the body that might not be familiar to certain populations, but are very familiar to others. Uh, So we specialize, you know, we have two meat cutters there. We, we cut fresh every day. Uh, So we have, you know, great meats, we have great fruits, we got, and vegetables, we have great center store. Some of our fruits and vegetables come from our Brady farm. Okay. Our 5.8 acre urban farm. Which is located where? It's off of Valley Drive on Ford Ave. So right on the south side of the Mm -hmm. city, moving towards the valley. Now, don't some folks get, they're getting trained in culinary things, working in that working in the market isn't that oh part yeah of what's going on? absolutely so we do a, we do job training our, our our subtitle is we're more than a market right okay so we're eight thousand square feet of grocery store but then the more is we do job training and we launch people into a career or educational path and we also do healing and community supports and services and we pay our people 
to get those supports and services. So if they want to do an exercise class on the other side of the market under the same roof, if they want to get therapy or case management, we pay them to get those services. You know what I like about that place? Lunch. <laughs> you guys, when I'm on that side of town, you yes. guys do some really good food. Oh, we have great food. We have great chefs. They're wonderful people. So they have hot food, is hot what you're food, saying? Hot food, yeah. yeah. We, have, we have hot food. Yeah. If I'm over food. there, I'm like, Err! and, and uh, every day it's a little different. And yes. There's different mixes and yes. things. Yes. And, uh, yeah. and the macaroni and cheese was amazing, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we feed yeah. the soul. Do you ever team up with somebody like John Tomino uh, over in my father's kitchen? Yeah, so at Brady, you know, some of the people that we serve, you know, we'll We'll have a guy who might fall asleep in our front door, right, okay. and, and and need to spend the night there. So that's when we'll call John. We'll call Andrew Lunetta, Tiny Homes for Good. And, um, you know, we'll come together. You know, someone might be sick. We'll call Dr. Lehman, who, yeah, you right. know, who right. works with Upstate and um, does, does uh, doctor street calls, yeah, house sure. calls. Right. Um, all those groups and agencies are just a part of, you know, who we team up with and collaborate with. Seems like Syracuse is pretty uh, progressive in that way, uh, that, that we have those kinds of services and people like you in the community. Well, there's wonderful community services. There's wonderful people and leaders um, that are doing great work in our area. We're, we're very, very rich and fortunate in that way. Excellent. All right. Well, that's going to wrap things up with um, uh, our man, Kevin Frank, right there, Brady Market and uh, Brady Faith Center. Thank you so much for being here and all that you do in the community. Thank you for having me. All right. Coming up next, uh, Steve, we're going to talk with Joe Scrippa. He is the uh, uh, owner of the Scrippa Group and Property Management right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR. Stick around, guys. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. I was just thinking to myself uh -oh. uh, when you were saying uh, happy you were, talk. You were thinking to uh, yourself? Yes. You were talking about happy talk, and I wanted to talk about... Um, the, the preferred power sports, but he's coming on next. He is. <laughs> so he I don't is know what? if we can. Well, we can, can talk we do about both? It. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. We were up there this week. Yeah, uh, taking some beautiful some, pictures. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I mean, the ones that, um, you know, Brad, Brad took, took yeah. were, were good. <laughs> I, it, it was, um, I didn't know I wanted something different. Until, yeah, until you see it. Huh? Wet your whistle. Huh? Uh, the four wheelers are like. They're beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Wow, I wish you could put them on the road. They are amazing. Yeah. Um, the, the motorcycles, um, I. We're just... Uh, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Scary. But uh, right. for, for the, oh, those of us who don't ride. Right, right. right. Really. And the, um, the, the, I call it the jet ski, the personal yeah, watercraft. Yes, personal watercrafts. Yes, um, that sure. would be my first choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'd have to rig it. I'd have to set it up to fish. <laughs> right? I've seen people do that. Um, well, well, think of this. You, you, if you had your rig, you know, since it's a, an impeller, you yeah. know, and it's not a, a prop, right. you could go slide right into Big Bay and yeah. fish right oh, That's a lot of fish you in could Big do that. Bay. But uh, if you're looking for a toy, yeah. they have 500, over 500 products sitting right there. Uh, prefer power right in Cicero. Just get off of Cicero and it's up a mile or two. You'll there. lose you yourself in there. Stay uh, there beautiful. for hours. And they're smart. They know their stuff. Yeah. And they don't work on commission, yeah, they're so very they're not forcing something correct. down your throat. Yeah. Um, but uh, check yeah. out our friends up there. They're, uh, they're something else. Very nice. Well, now we can talk with Joe. Joe Scrippa is here, owner of the Scrippa Group Real Estate and Property Management. Hey there, Joe. Hey, Tom. And we're <laughs> neighbors to Preferred Motorsorts. Yeah, they're, not they're a good neighbor. Nice looking, right. nice drive by it every day. Yeah. yeah. You're just up the road. And who doesn't, especially at this time of year, <laughs> yes. love outdoor Oh my gosh! Outdoor recreation. You know, and I and it's one of those things where you think the economy would, you know, make people not make that purchase. Right. But there's always somebody ready to you know purchase we're, that. Tom, Steve, yes. we're at that age. Yeah, right. The, oh, the, yes. the young, the young people now. Mm -hmm. YOLO. You only live once. Right. So right. So they just do it. They just do it. <laughs> yeah, they you just, just have it. to. You yeah. know, that's like I said, the Kelly can't. I, I just don't think it's uh, it's like the Fonzie principle. Do you know what that is? I'm gonna I'm <laughs> going to find that out soon. <laughs> Joe, you know the Fonzie principle? No, no. So we're gonna learn. I, it. I, of course, I'm just making this up, folks. It's, uh, it's yeah. nothing. But uh, you know, the Fonzie principle to me is you know, at some point, 
it's not fun to watch a guy who's 50 years old trying to pick up chicks. Yeah, okay. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's yeah, like, that is kind of like, you know. or getting in, in in and out of a muscle car, you know, okay, you're 75 years old, you know, do you really? Yeah. Well, Explain, you know. Explains Fonzie. And, and my office is right across from, um, uh, Circle K yes, in Brewerton. Which is a very so nice Circle K. So I see K, all the these uh, Corvettes, yes. super fancy Corvettes, <laughs> and then you see somebody hoisting themselves out right. because they can very pull, barely pull <laughs> themselves out of and the car. And they get in their scooter yes. to go on yeah, back because their much. hips are bad. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd rather do it when I'm young. But with, with a boat, you can get in, you can uh, yeah, get out. Yeah, that's true. There's, there's, uh, you do see a lot of uh, mature people driving a yacht around yes. a motor. Oh, that's different. That's different. No. Well, let's get let's get to Joe. Joe, what do you do? <laughs> well, we well we help people buy, sell, and lease real estate. As a matter of nice. fact, I was checking my email, and seconds ago, Kelly just emailed me. She's oh, got a closing she, coming right oh, now. Oh, good, as, good. As we speak. Dandy. Yeah, Dandy. So, well, we can um, buy groceries uh, for another week. It's real estate season for sure. <laughs> you know, when you hit the uh, sunshine and warm days yeah, like we're starting yeah. to get. Um, and when you get an announcement of $6 billion of funding to the that's Micron po- project, that's exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and then what happens when you get that announcement is everybody wakes up and says, I better bring my development to life. Right. right. Oh, right. people that were like sitting on things yeah, yeah, or a yeah. property or a plaza or whatever, they're going, Correct. you know. You better know. start so moving. For instance, what we do, and, and um, I'm just going to give a little bit of history, we just... Uh, split our company residential and commercial Mm. and you know so that we can have two separate specialty categories Mm -hmm. um, and allow other people to come that wouldn't be selling houses necessarily and one of those people happens to be a developer it's Dominic LaFace from LaFace Flooring Mm -hmm. and Dom intends to build a townhome community and do something uh I guess kind of micro or to support the lack of housing, right? Um, So I guess what we look for today is if there's people out there that had a development plan or something like that, what can we all do to help our our current situation, especially with the Micron explosion, is if you had a piece of land that was lined up for development previously, maybe it's time to start looking that at that again, and we can advise and consult in that. Right now, we're doing a project we just announced on Seymour Street near JMA Wireless down in the city near the new Burn Dairy down mm-hmm. like urban housing, urban urban housing, um, yep. fifty six units that we are you know consulting on and putting together a development plan for right now. So that's exciting. And that's what we need. That's what we need. There's another one just announced on East Genesee Street, uh, another 56 units. Yeah. You know, so we need that. We desperately need if that. You had, well, like, if you own like a golf course, why wouldn't you build houses? I mean, I, no offense. I'm a golfer. But I don't know. You do the math on a golf course? Rodney Dangerfield said in Caddyshack, uh, golf courses, biggest waste of prime real estate. <laughs> well, <laughs> if, you, if you do the math on building roads, it's pretty darn expensive. So oh, you start okay. putting in roads. You know, you got a tiny development. Yeah. Okay, a tiny development. We looked at one. It was just maybe six, seven acres. It's a million and a half dollars to put in the road. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. You That's know what? Lot. Let's uh, play golf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's th- there, okay. there it is. It, that's part of it. And a lot of golf courses are located in areas where there's no sewers or. or oh, that type. Right. Well, they're all yeah. wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least up here. Yeah. Uh, but I will say, you know, business is definitely velocity is is picking up. Uh, Nikki Bronner just. Uh, listed half a dozen houses and sold them all in a week uh-huh. under contract in a week. And I know Kelly's experienced that uh, missing, numerous, things, yeah. missing numerous missing mm-hmm. numerous because uh, yeah, everybody's bidding. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's a good time to sell. I spoke to my attorney last week. Mm-hmm. They literally had 40 offers on one house. Wow. That is crazy. 40. It's incredible. And, and rates aren't special. all that great. Rates are not great, but if you think about what's about to happen here, we're not going to compress or really see a big price reduction here because we're, we happen to be a community unlike um, some of the West Coast or Texas or even Florida who's matured and has a little bit of an abundance of housing. We're still short on housing, so yeah. we've got room for appreciation. We're not going to rescind. Yeah, everybody's How about in California, though. Yeah. <laughs> How about that big property you have off of 81, the, the, the oh, old horse barn? Is calls, that selling or what? Every, calls every day. You put a big um, sign on there. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sign's only 80 feet long. Okay. Yeah, it's only 80 a, feet long. Um, we do have some folks looking 
looking at that right now um, out of out of the area mm-hmm. to develop for townhomes. So yes, um, oh good, I'm good. confident we'll we'll have something there soon. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, yeah. so uh, it, obviously microns happen and things are happening. If someone has a commercial property or a piece of real estate that they're going, yeah, I don't know, what should I do with it? Have a conversation with you. Is that fair? No charge, no pressure. Okay, four five two twelve hundred. That sounds like a, in that's the big the area code. Uh, yep. Four five two twelve hundred. Scrippergroup.com, and that's a C, not a K. Scrippergroup.com. <laughs> that's right. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Joe. We'll see you around the hood, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Coming up next, we're going to talk with uh, Sean Patney and figure out why I'm not getting a slingshot. And uh, he's the owner of Preferred Kelly Power said Sports. No. Kelly <laughs> said no. That's the big reason <laughs> right there. A slingshot. <laughs> right here wow. on the local show on 570 WSYR. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts... Tom and Steve. We're back at it, folks, and that means that you are, too. Thank you for joining Tom and Steve on the local show here on this beautiful spring weekend. Um, You know, we'll just say it's beautiful because it's been so dang wet. You know what? Compare, yes. You know, but the the water, the the lakes, the creeks are not high. No, they're not that high. uh, But last year at this time, things were really dry. I had a guy come over finally and take a look at the uh, lawnmower. It, oh my gosh! Yeah, How so is that like? You know, I here's the assessment. More like that. <laughs> here's the assessment, and you know, I don't want you to think for one moment that I don't appreciate the great deal that you gave me yeah, uh, yeah. as you exited your home. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I mean that uh, truthfully. However, yeah. <laughs> however, the, I, I have to tell you, that. we did our thing. You've had it three years. So I, any, yeah. So anything that's that has been neglected isn't on me anymore. He buddy. said to me that the uh, motor right now is the equivalent of a car that has 168 thousand miles yeah. on it. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's in good shape. Yeah, yeah well, I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, he did say that the, those motors tend to leak some oil, and then there's really nothing you can do. He said, just use it until, keep it maintained, use it until it blows up, and then go get another one. That's so, the way but, it works. But, yeah, that's the way it works. But uh, he did change the oil and do, you know, spark plugs and all that stuff. So I'm out there. That might be the only uh, fun I get is on the lawnmower because, uh, you know, I've been up to preferred power sports, and, you know, I love everything on the floor there. And I would take it all home with me. Right. But, uh, do you, do you, it's the wife. That's do you the, go? Uh, do you uh, do you cut it in like slow mode, or do you one of those guys that's like zoom zoom? You're like well, taking you G force on the corner. Nah, of the lawnmower. I, I want to have a nice lawn, so I don't you know mow through it that fast and you know just push the grass, the blades. You want to cut them, so yeah. I go at a reasonable pace. Yeah. Another Ooh, show we'll share know. the story about how my mom got it kind of stuck by the edge uh, of the, yeah, in you the told pond. Me that before. So, or, <laughs> yeah, you get you. But that, that's another day. All right. Well, we do have Sean Patney here with us right now. He's the owner. Of preferred power sports, and I don't know what I have to do to ingratiate myself to him so that he gives me some sort of a spectacular deal. I don't know, but uh, he's here and ready to talk power sports. How are you, Sean? Very good. Good morning. Uh, good morning to you. So, folks, uh, when you see Sean and the gang, you'll get up there, tell them Tom sent you, and maybe, just maybe, I can get into that slingshot. Uh, <laughs> sort of like, the, 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 your boys were nice enough to let me go take that out with my son, and uh, who's 17, and he was just, I mean, literally hugging me in the in the vehicle <laughs> saying daddy get this so, so tell everybody what a slingshot is if they don't know well slingshots made by polaris three-wheeler it's a you know classified as an auto cycle uh, but it's a um you know uh, it's like a vehicle you know but uh it, it's more like a motorcycle i would say it's more like a motorcycle because you gotta wear a helmet is it good on the snow well you, you no. great, great <laughs> in the snow. one rear tire <laughs> <laughs> uh, no great i mean really neat machine to tour in yeah uh, a lot of people pick them up and put a lot of miles on them uh, you can get you them can mod them you all can the heck. mod them all day long yeah. they come in either an automatic or a manual transmission yeah. four cylinder they're you know they're just a, a blast to drive <laughs> right. obviously open top no and there are some sure. tops available yeah you mo- can put a top for on. the most part people people run them open all the time so yeah yeah in Syracuse I, I would probably put one of the canopies on there just for the heat and the you know if it was slightly sprinkling but you have such a great inventory I don't and I mean this truthfully I don't know why everyone wouldn't go to your place first to get uh, a, a power sport. Well, we, we would appreciate it if they did that. Yeah, <laughs> because you've got it all. And and I didn't know. Jason told me, one of your salespeople, yep. it, it, Jason said, I don't work on commission. I just want to do what's right for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, so for, for sales guys, nobody's on commission. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to find the right product for people uh, right. to enjoy, you know, upstate New York and the outdoors. And uh, sometimes, you know, people come in with, you know, one idea. Yeah, we're not going to try to discourage them th from that unless, obviously, it's, uh, it's the best. You, you told me last time there's over 500 products that are there. Yeah, so right now. Is, that are actually on the ground, right? So in, in stock right now, right around 500. We're probably just probably dipped under 500 just with a few guys. Hit the categories. There. Tell everybody if they don't. So this oh, is Cicero, the, just kind of right, the, the, the categories and the brands. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is fun. So, <laughs> so category wise, this time of year, motorcycles, ATVs, side by side, personal watercraft, uh, pontoon boats. Uh, we also sell uh, trailers, uh, you know, to get your, your, your toys moved around. And then uh, in the in winter, of course, we're a snowmobile dealer as well. So. Uh, a little bit of everything. And then the brands that we carry, it's Polaris and Yamaha, Kawasaki, Honda, uh, CF Moto, and then Can-Am, which covers the, the Sea-Doo and the, the Can-Am. <sighs> Never heard of any yeah. of those brands. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got all the popular It can be a little ones. overwhelming at times, but that's what we're there for. You know, try, right. to, try to work through, you know, what your, you know, what your passion is and, and, and what, the right thing. What is the side-by-side? -side? I've heard of that, but I, I don't know what it is. So many, many years ago, uh, I think it was Kawasaki kind of started it, but it was just, they went to a, an ETV with, with you know, a four-wheel ATV side by side, two passengers side by side, or three passengers side by side. Okay. And, uh, typically, a little cargo box or dump box on the back of it. So it started out as a work vehicle, and it has just progressed into a recreational vehicle. And they've gotten bigger and more powerful, and yeah. more seats. And it's you just, can't put that on the road, though. No, I mean some people have found ways around that, but uh, uh, realistically, it's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it's, it's not easy to, to get it legalized for the road. You can do it, but yeah. it's, it's a bear. So. Uh, and tell us about your accessories too, because it seems to me that uh, you know no matter what kind of vehicle you get into, you have helmets, you have jackets, oh, yeah. you have all. Sorts yeah, so of we, I mean, we have one of the biggest selections of helmets, really, uh, probably anywhere in upstate New York. I saw York, that yeah. wall. I was up there yeah. this week. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be two. Helmets on that wall. Oh, there's more than that. Yeah, oh, was, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was like, yeah. and then I heard uh, your sales guy at the counter explaining a guy was there looking at a helmet. He said, What about this? What about the size? Right. And he was like telling me all about, I could hear it all about this yeah, helmet. Yeah, he sure. wasn't like, Hey, try it on, kid. Does it fit? Oh, no. He has like helmet knowledge. Yeah, right. no, yeah helmets <laughs> range from, you know, from a hundred dollar helmet all the way to a thousand dollar helmets. And, yeah. and they all have a purpose. And, sure. and uh, we'll try to find the right one. And we, we want to make sure you get it sized on in the store real, real accurately right. in the store. So. They were talking size. And he was so oh, yeah. it's important. Yeah, right. and, yeah. And What's the price for the, the ones that are Bluetooth capable that can hook up to the radio? You know, they vary. Um, a lot of helmets can be converted to Bluetooth if they're not Bluetooth right from the get-go. We've got a lot of aftermarket accessory kits that are really, really popular. So nice. you can communicate, not just not just Bluetooth with your phone, but communicate with other people in your ride group as well. Right. So you can talk to people that are in your ride group. Tell me about the, the prices, because, you know, some people might believe as a consumer that um, companies like yours might mess with the prices like it as it gets into more into the season, they're going to jack them up or anything. Tell me how all that works. Nah, we're, you know, we've always followed the retail, you know, MSRP is retail price. That's what we've okay. always done for all the years. Um, you know, certain products we can get at a discount. We'll pass that, that savings on or off season, of course, we'll do right. that. But we've never been over MSRP in anything we've ever done. So, Do the manufacturers incentivize you at all and, and say, you know, hey, look, you know, you can offer a $2,000 rebate or this or that from the manufacturer? So we get incentives in different, different ways. Um, sometimes we'll get them on the vehicles themselves, which mm -hmm. could be in the form of a consumer rebate or a dealer rebate. Uh, sometimes we'll get accessory program rebate. So if you, you buy a side-by-side -side or you buy an ETV and you want to buy uh, a winch or plow or different accessories for it, depending on the time of year, uh, they'll offer different incentives to go ahead and do that. So. Yeah. No. Uh, you, were you burning with a question no, over there? I just, I, just, I, I'm still smiling because I was up there earlier this week. <laughs> yes. And yeah. I wanted everything. Yeah, I know. Seriously. That's good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, certainly. just walking around, the, the personal water sport, the, the um, watercraft yeah. Yeah. were amazing. And the, Are the boats moving? Yeah, they're or only, those? they're personal watercraft. They're only, what, maybe 120 of them there or so to look at, you know? Yeah, right. But I was just yeah. picturing myself, Tom, cruising, fishing. Yeah. You know, little pole, get to the spot quick, you know. That's uh, the same with me. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was amazing. But right up in Cicero. Um, Real not, easy to get not, to, right down Route 11. Get up Cicero, head yeah. up there, and you'll see it up there uh, on the right. And Absolutely. from 81, you can see there's you all that there stuff too. that's there. But if you're going to buy something fun, uh, uh, when you go in, say, hey, is Sean here? And give him a hard time. Right. He's the guy that. with the salt and pepper hair that sh hasn't shaved yet. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, that's the same with me. 
me. That's so you get to a certain age, Steve. You don't care about yeah, that stuff. That's true. For, for <laughs> especially for sports.com, Tom. There you go. Uh, I'll be up uh, for for my slingshot. Um, you know, let's let's talk turkey here. Very good. All right, uh, that's it. Preferred Power Sports. Uh, Trey Wynn's coming by. Trey is the technical sergeant and um, advanced recruiter at the Air National Guard. Uh, way past you're way past the prime. Just so you know, you're not going in. Okay. Uh, oh, so just just so you know, yes. Steve. <laughs> stick around. He's next on the local show on five. WSYR. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts... Tom and Steve. It's always nice to spring back, and it's always nice to be in spring. I just love this time of year, but my allergies are out of control. Welcome to the local show and and all that. Uh, the, my eyes, you know, the styus and the eyes and the uh, watery eyes and, and all that. It doesn't matter what I take. You know, it doesn't matter. Is it I, just <laughs> allergies or is it a sty? I don't even know. Well, the, the sty's not that bad now, but it's always, you know, irritation, you know, in the mornings and all that. And I know that there's people worse than me i get it but you know i spent uh, i was in the gym the other night and it, i spent most of the time blowing my nose you know people must have thought what's wrong with this were guy? people evacuating or yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. 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 Did you ever go into like a public place and the person yeah. next is like, Ooh, well, ah, and, you're like <laughs> and you're like you don't want to be like yeah. ever since covid you blow your nose and it's like oh he's got like some disease so, yeah they treat you like a leper right, right. And you're just right. Like walking around it's like dude it's no. just, or if you're, just if, my allergies you know, something you would never be on an airplane <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> You know, you're going to like, yeah, Whoa. what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, anyway, speaking of airplanes and things like that, we're going to talk with uh, Trey Wynn. He's a tech sergeant and advanced recruiter at the Air National Guard. 174th Attack Wing right here in uh, central New York. How are you, Trey? Good. How are you doing today? Good. It's great to have you on again. It's It's been a little while. Yes. And uh, you look um, even more mature than you were the last time. He looked like he was 14 years old. I know. Last time. He's all grown up him. now. It's because I grew my beard he, out. He's got his beard. <laughs> he's put on 10 pounds. Oh yeah, he's, he's getting, <laughs> getting it done. I'll tell you what. You it's know, the radio Trey, ten. Yeah, Trey. You know, I, I looked you up online, um, and, and not in a creepy way, but uh, I, I had to get your phone number and stuff. So, and I wanted to confirm your rank and all that. So uh, I'm going online. You have an impressive history. I didn't know you went to SU. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the great thing about the Air National Guard, there's a lot of opportunities, right? Yeah. Um, one of those opportunities is to attend Syracuse University part-time right. um, for free. Wow. Yes. That's pretty incredible. Tell, tell us what, what, what that article that I read about you was all about. Do you remember? There was one, they had oh, one man. article. It was all yeah. good. It was oh, all good. Yeah. So yeah, I think you you're talking about, I was a hometown hero. Yes, a hometown hero. Yes, yes you were. Yes, as a hometown hero. So uh, basically, Syracuse University, they do shout out Air National Guard members for being the hometown hero. Right. Um, just being in the community, sure. serving the community locally, serving the Air Force, right. um, I was shouted out for that, um, doing my job in the community. That's it was awesome, you know. And I thought, hey, I know Trey. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I awesome. know him. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, the Air Guard uh, help people that maybe are confused. There's the Air Force, there's the Air Guard, there's the National Guard, there's the National Air Guard, <laughs> and there's a whole bunch. Of, and there's the Coast Guard. Could you sort things out for us? Yeah. yeah, definitely. So the Air National Guard is a part-time component of the Air Force. Um, so what that means. Is is we serve locally at a part-time aspect. So one week in the month and two weeks out of the year, we wear the Air Force uniform right here in Syracuse um, doing our jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And then uh, what, what jobs? What are you doing? Um, we have a vast amount of jobs from law enforcement, medical, cybersecurity, intelligence, civil engineering, and many, many more. Okay, so are you looking for people like Tom, or are you looking for someone oh, we're, that's we're forty years Steve younger? Is. That's a that's actually a great question, Steve. <laughs> uh, so we are looking for people that are between the ages of seventeen years old and forty two years old. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in good physical health. Okay, yeah. Steve and, was never that. Yeah. Tom was that you know. I was in that <laughs> age bracket. Yeah. You were in the bracket, but never. <laughs> yeah. The, All right. So yeah. why would someone um, why would someone uh, want to be part of it? Um, the flexibility, the camaraderie uh, yeah. that the Air National Guard has. Um, you can serve at a part-time rate, a full-time. We have a lot of different opportunities. Um, 
most of the time, a lot of people do join and take advantage of the benefits that we have to offer. Uh, some of those benefits range from college tuition assistance. Uh, so we do pay 100% mm-hmm. tuition assistance to any SUNY school mm-hmm. in the state of New York. Um, and then we also offer medical insurance, dental insurance. Um, we allow people to start putting into retirement funds. So it's a definitely a lot yeah, of Yeah, that's really great. And, and is that just when they're in or when they get out, or how long does that last? So that's when they're in. Depending on how long they serve, it can extend to after they get out as well. Yeah. So so are people usually working full-time jobs and a member of the Air Guard? Yes. So people are usually working full-time job. Uh, like myself, I started out, I was working at an Embassy Suites hotel, oh. um, and I was just doing the Air National Guard just one weekend a month. Okay. Um, but throughout those other weeks, I was at the embassy suites working at a hotel. Yeah. yeah. So right now, are you full time because of your position? Yes. Yep. So okay. right now, I am full. I'm a full time recruiter. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm out on base full time. So right now, the base has about 500 people on a full time wow. aspect. Yeah. Yes. 500 right. people. Like I didn't know today, that. Like this, this week, there's I yeah. had no idea. Yep. Right here Good in golly. Syracuse, there's 500 people on a full time aspect um, wearing a. Air Force uniform working at the Air National sure. Guard. Okay, so so I'm still confused. Does that shock you, Tom? Yes, so, it does. So, it's a, it's so a lot. They're part time, but these are full time people. Yes, yes that are they have full time <laughs> staff as well as yep. the recruits can be part time. Yeah, yeah. So on yeah. total, there's about 1,400 members of the 174th Attack Wing in Syracuse. Okay, right. so. 500 of those 1,400 are on a full-time status. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, and you do a variety of things. Tell, tell me how uh, the modern warfare now with all the electronics and everything has changed uh, the, the different skill levels uh, being part of the Guard. Oh, definitely. So we have a lot of uh, smart people in the yeah. Air National Guard. Hard, hard, high tech. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so like I mentioned earlier, like cybersecurity <laughs> is uh, – really popular right now sure um so those folks on base are getting involved in the community and we're reaching out uh, just trying to find more people that have that technical aspect background sure. so okay. uh, how does the, the your um part of the military uh gel with like ROTC programs or around oh that's actually a great question so we do interact with those ROTC programs i um, just letting them know that we are also an option mm-hmm. um ROTC programs usually tend to flow right through an active duty oh, um okay. branch of service i see um but we try to get involved and let them know that the air national guard is an, an opportunity option. Yeah. yes option to stay local yeah. if they wanted to so if someone's listening maybe a family member a kid a grandkid maybe them they're they're thinking about it what makes the great recruit what's somebody that you say hey these this is perfect for you who are they and what do they what do they do i'd say someone that wants to be a part of a team um who is eager to succeed just in life at gen- in general mm-hmm. um and is ready to work and be a great airman yeah. Okay. And uh, l- let's give a shout out to the guy I lift with at the gym. Uh, hey, what's his name again? What's yes. his uh, first name? Yes. Uh, Anas Scott. Anas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's a trainer over at uh, Crunch Fitness. Okay. And this guy is in Ultimate Fitness. Yes. He could do one of those. What do you call that? The American Gladiator? Oh, my gosh. He could do yes. that. Yes. He could yeah. easily. <laughs> That's my well, man. And uh, so it's uh, 174th tar- uh, uh, Attack Wing. Dot ANG. Dot AF. Dot ML. <laughs> put, in one, put in 174th Fighter Wing. You'll find it. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, you gave me a different number here. You gave me yeah. uh, the three one five. You gave me the phone number two three three twenty one fifty nine. And um, and uh, that phone number, you can have questions answered. Right. And yes. uh, thanks and you got, for your service, and thanks for coming in. You yes. got a recruitment partner, Elliot's uh, in the background, too. If you, if you go on the YouTube channel, you'll be able to see Elliot. Yes. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Elliot yeah. Kakias. All yes. right. <laughs> Thank you so much, both of you. All right. Uh, Steve, that's going to do it. Uh, now you can go practice your push-ups. Maybe yeah. you can get a whole one in. <laughs> I'm going to enter that yeah. gladiator thing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, on behalf of the local show, Zoe Advertising and Tom and Steve, God bless you and your families. Make sure you have some time to relax and exercise today and every day. Do it with a family member or a friend. It'll keep your mind and body healthy. The local show is heard every Saturday morning from 11 to 1 and then again on Sunday morning from 7 to 9. Listen together with a friend until next week. Get down to business and keep doing business locally. Tell your friends about the local show right here on 570 WSYR, 1069 FM, the iHeartRadio app, and on YouTube at Zoe Advertising.